Pardon? The two hangout cylinders in the field wheel we've got. This sway bar up here has a, is a cylinder. Huh. Hmm. Oh. Lord. <laughs> Catch you on camera here. Oh, hi, Don. How are you? Fine. You know Jeff Heath? Thank you for Don Cakey. Hi. hi, Jeff. How do you do? Good. This has been underwater, I guess, huh? Where'd you find that? Yeah, we're the fourth owner of the project. I got it from a guy out in Sioux City, Iowa. Uh huh. And it's the wreckage of there's two that were in a mid-air collision, and uh, this is the number three airplane in the echelon four echelon flight, and it was hit by the fourth one on the tail. And pretty well mashed this up in here. And then it went into this swamp near, uh, just off a lake, uh, lake, lake uh, excuse me, river, river, the Suwannee River, in the west of Ocala. It runs southwest. And we know the complete history of it. The pilot in this one did not survive the crash. The guy that hit him is. As far as we know, still alive and well in, the, in his late 80s out in the Middle West. Uh -huh. And it's going to have a storyboard sitting next to it that's going to tell the whole thing. We're rebuilding it from the, from the inside out, and, which is a strange way to build an airplane. But let me take your camera. I've got a good view right through here. Which button do I push? Oh, it's calling right now. Just it's on? OK. Um, I mean, I'm not, oh, yeah. where's my, it's here. Where's my view? Oh, there we go. Okay. And you can see where we've replaced the nearest frame, which I'm pointing to, is number 13 bulkhead. And that one we're leaving intact. We're going to fix that one. Then forward of that, we've got three of them in, and we're working on the fourth and fifth one as we go forward. I don't know whether you can make it. Hey, yeah, you can make that up pretty good from there. And then we will replace the stringers, which are these guys here, laundry arm stringers. We have the, the extrusions for those. And then we'll replace, uh, we'll repair the skin. As we'll take it, that uh, skin is on sections, on lap straight type of strips forward, all run fore and aft, and we'll take those off individually and try to straighten them and repair them uh -huh. and uh, <clears throat> put them back on. And sometime in the process, we're going to get a good center line established and level and plumb and true. But it's looking pretty good so far, and we're making great strides as far as these bulkheads. Like, Jeff, I side along these stringers, and boy, we're lined up but good on the what our notches from the print show goes pretty well. So it's not bent or twisted? It's got a little bit of a bend to the left, excuse me, the other left, the right, where the propeller of plane number four hit it on this, on the left side, drove it over about an inch and a half. We got most of that back out of it just with these, with these in, or external uh, <coughs> plexiglass supports, which are kind of holding it. It had a when we got it, it had an internal pipe frame holding everything together. And we've eliminated that gradually as we've gone forward. And all these wood braces in here just kind of hold everything out. But the, so it, you're hand farming all those ribs in there? Yes. And that's where we got a real slick setup for doing that. It's yeah. All the wood forms and they're just getting like good. like to see that. We're getting good at it. Yeah. First one looked kind of crummy, but from there on, they look pretty good. Uh huh. I gotta say, what what an optimist you guys are. Optimist. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had 90% doubting Thomases when we started, and now we're down to about 70. Uh, 70. So, great strides. Give us three more weeks, and we'll be, be beating them off with a stick. Or yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of interest in it. We get a. Another recruit coming in Friday is all excited about it. Uh huh. And we have this bulkhead here. I've got remade. So you're going to build a tail for it? Oh, we, well, we've got the <clears throat> we got the elevators in the shop being repaired, and 
We've got the 10,000 P40 fin and rudder, rudder in the Mercury exhibit back there. That's going to go on this. The horizontal stabilizer is in one piece, but it needs a lot of repair. So we'll have it. We're kind of working from the tail forward, but we were even thinking yesterday about <clears throat> when we, at some point in time, not quite yet, we're going to take the engine off it so we can work the, the firewall back is a pretty lightweight structure. We'll put that on a on a, uh, rotisserie. a rotisserie arrangement so we can do the do the work. So is the engine in good condition? The engine could be repaired to run. We're not going to do that. This could be a static display airplane. Uh -huh. And uh, <clears throat> we have parts of the other airplane that hit it, and we have additional parts of a third airplane, which, which was which went down about the same period of time, 1945, near uh, the Carolinas. It's not Cumberland, but it's near there, not Hilton Head. Well, that's a, that's a tote box full of rubble, but there's got to be good pieces <laughs> in that rubble. There's a lot of rubble. We've got it all over at Mercury Plant 3, laid out on a floor over there. Uh -huh. and, uh, we haven't really, haven't really sorted. It's kind of doing that as we need stuff. So you're going to uh, straighten the skin out there and yeah. refasten it? Let's see where we line it back up again, because this temporary frame down here meshed, and that's displaced. We push the airplane in this part of the temporary frame over to the left where it belongs with these outside supports. So it, it, it seems to want to come back to its original shape. But look, you put a bulkhead in there and you try to get it in in one piece and it's impossible, but you put it, put it in in, in the four pieces as are shown on the print and, and you, we've got them clico together in there now. And uh, pretty soon they all of a sudden, wow, it fits. So the airplane wants to come back to its original shape. It's just uh -huh. we've, got to, we've got to talk it into it. Is this member still good here? This frame? This one up here? Yeah, that's our that's a bulkhead, happened to be bulkhead number 13. And we're going to keep that. Now it's going to need some body work here and there. It's got a bend down below in this corner. But all that can, can be fixed. We're just kind of getting things out of the way to replace this one, number 14, and number 15 is back here, and then there's another couple of small ones that taper down to the tail back here, which is totally obliterated. But even where the, 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 the next step where we put these, these lingerie and stringers in, in fact, this is the one that's going to go in all the way to the firewall. And this one will, will of course, leave long hanging out here because that's going to be the start of the structure that holds the rest of it together. But we're Are you going to bend these up, or is that...? That probably will either splice into that or, or replace it, depending on how it looks forward. It, it looks like it, back in here, it looks like it could be straightened, but it's certainly going to have to have a splice to come back to meet here. you got to break in it right there. This is folded back. 